so agenda setting theory in the Wikipedia website. Okay. The press may not be successful much of the time in telling people what to think, but it's stunningly successful in telling its readers what to think about. Bernard C. Cohen, 1963. The agenda setting theory is a theory that the mass news media have a large influence on audience by their choice of what stories to consider newsworthy and how much prominence and space to give them. Gender setting, th setting theories, um, axiom in science transfer, or the ability of the mass media to transfer importance of these items to the mass agenda to the public. Which happens in Miller 2005. Gender setting theory was introduced in by Maxwell McCombs and Donald Shaw. explains the correlation between the rate at which the media net uh, cover a story and the extent that people think the story is important. This correlation has been shown to occur repeatedly. In the dissatisfaction of the magic bullet theory, Maxwell McCombs and Donald Shaw introduced quarterly. The theory was derived from the study that took place in Chapel Hill, North Carolina, where researchers surveyed 100 undecided voters during the 1968 presidential campaign on what they thought were key issues and measured that against the actual media content. The ranking issues were almost identical. The conclusions matched their hypothesis. The mass media positioned the agenda for public opinion by emphasizing specific topics, Ham, 1998. Subsequent research on agenda setting theory provided evidence for the cause and effect chain of influence being debated by critics in the field. One particular study made leaps to prove the cause and effect relationship. The study was conducted at by Lao Research Center, Mark Peters and Donald Kiner. The researchers had three groups of subjects fill out questionnaires about their own concerns and then each group watched different evening news programs, each of which emphasized a different issue. After watching the news for four days, the subjects gained again filled out questionnaires and issues that they related as the most important issues as they viewed it. The evening news, Griffin 2005. The study demonstrated the cause and effect relationship between media agenda and public agenda. Since the theory's conception, more than 350 studies have been performed to the test theory. theory. The theory has evolved beyond the media's influence on the public's perception of issues, silence, and to political candidates and corporation reputation. Carol and McCombs, 2003. Important aspects of the theory functions under theory. The agenda setting function has multiple components. One is the media agenda issues discussed in the media, newspaper, television, radio. Two public agenda issues discussed and personally relevant to members of the public. Issues that policy makers consider important, legislators. Four, corporate agenda issues that big business corporations consider important, corporate. The four basic agendas are interrelated. Two basic assumptions underlie the on agenda setting. One, and not reflect reality. They filter and shape media concentration on a few issues and subject of these issues as more important than other issues. And, and you know, they did that with... Um, Russia, 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 and um, now they're doing it with um, Mr. Uh, uh, what shall we say? Older than Trump is, um, you know, now have has has the office of the uh, ELECT and um, and and had more votes votes for uh, Trump and Hillary and Obama all combined and. Uh, most votes for, um, yeah, and, and a lot of people have said that if they hadn't known about Hunter Biden's issues with the laptop and Joe Biden's um, issues in Ukraine, um, they would not have voted for him. Characteristics. Characteristics researchers have focused on characteristics of audience issues and the media that might pre predict variations of the agenda setting effect. Need for orientation. Research done by Weaver in 1977 suggests that individuals vary on the need for orientation. Need for orientation is a combination of the individual's interest on the topic and uncertainty of the, about the issue. The higher levels of interest, uncertainty produce higher levels in the need for the orientation. So the individual would be considerably likely to be influenced by the media stories. Issue of obtrusiveness, research performed by Zucker, 1978, suggests that the issue of obtrusive is, if most members of the public have a direct contact with it, is less obtrusive. If audience members have had not direct experience, it means that the agenda setting results should be strongest for the unobtrusive issues because the audience member must rely on media for information on these topics. 
first, so various levels of agenda setting. First level, agenda setting. This is the level that um, is most traditionally studied by researchers. In this level, the media use objects or issues to influence the public. In this level, the media suggests what the public should think about the amount of think about amount of coverage. Second level agenda setting. In this level, the media focus on the characteristics of the objects or issues. In the, this level, the media suggests how people should think about the issue. There are two types of attributes. One, cognitive sustenance, sustenative or topics, and effective evaluation or positive, negative, neutral. Intermediate age and gender settings. Um, silence. What is it? Silence transfer among the media. Important concepts, gatekeeping, control of the section of the content discussed in the media, what the public know and the care about any given time is mostly the product of media gatekeeping. Priming, the effects of a particular prior context on retrieval and interpretation of information. The media's contact will, content will provide a lot of time and space to certain issues, making these issues more accessible and vivid in the public's mind. Framing. Framing is the process of selective control over the media content and public communication. Framing derives how a certain piece of media content is packaged and so it will influence particular interpretations. This is accomplished through the use of selection, emphasis, exclusion and elaboration. This is central to second level agenda setting. Usage of theory. Political advertising, political campaigns and debates, business news and corporation reputation, business influence on federal policy, legal systems, trials, role of groups, audience control, public opinion, and public relations. Strengths of the theory. It has explanatory power because it explains why most people prioritize the same issues as important. It has predictive power because it predicts that if people are exposed to the same media, they will feel the same issues are important. It can be proven, proven false. If the people aren't exposed to the same media, they won't feel the same issues are important. It is a metaphorological assumptions are balanced on a scientific sign. It lays the groundwork for further research. It has an organizing power because it helps organize existing knowledge of media effects. Limitations. Media users may not be as ideal as theory assumes. People may not be well informed, deeply engaged in public affairs, thoughtful and skeptical. Instead, they may pay only a casual and intermediate attention to public affairs and remain ignorant of their details. For people who have made up their minds, this effect is weakened. News media can create or conceal problems. They may only alter the oh, it says cannot. So the news media cannot create or conceal problems. Bull crap, they do. They may only alter awareness priorities and silence people attached to a set of problems. Um, research has largely been inclusive in establishing a casual relationship between the public. I think that's silence. I think that's spelled wrong. Because I, I found another spelling error before. And media coverage. So there's the references. I'll leave the links in the description. But, um, yeah, I think that word's wrong. <laughs> like, um, I saw here before there was another spelling be a capital R there. And there should be a capital T there. I'm not going to get into picky. But, um, yeah, so, um, I, I will continue this heaps in this one. But, um, it just shows you that they are dictating to the public what to think and say and you know they've done lots of studies about it and this is what upsets them about social media and this is why you know all the tech companies are buying out anyone that starts up a new platform so they can control gain you know continue the control because they're losing control they're losing control over decades of of known ways to get to people and social media has changed that people aren't sticking with just one platform, they're leaving platforms that censor and they will continue to search for the truth because they know something isn't right. So wherever you are in the world, thanks for listening, um, watching. Um, you have a good morning, good evening, good afternoon or good night. You raise those vibrations and much love. Thanks for watching. Bye.